Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to our garden. It's not quite so picturesque as the picture that uh, <laughs> the uh, surroundings that Philip posted from um, a few days ago. But um, we thought you might like a, a different view in the sounds of the birds, which are still here with us. We're using a simple um, liturgy, Celtic liturgy, for evening prayer. And as we begin, we just bring ourselves before God. With all that we are feeling, whatever it is, good and bad, knowing that God watches over us, and that we can bring whatever we have inside to him, uh, never being fearful of his welcome, his acceptance, his forgiveness, his love. Come to us this night, O Lord. Come to us with light. Speak to us this night, O God. Speak to us your truth. Dwell with us this night, O God. Dwell with us in love. And we begin with giving thanks for those things with which we are blessed. Thanks be to you, O Christ. For the many gifts you have bestowed on us, each day and night, each sea and land, each weather fair, each calm, each wild. Each night may we remember your mercy, given so gently and generously. Each thing we have received, from you it came. Each thing for which we hope, from your love it will come. Each thing we enjoy, it is of your bounty. Each thing we ask, comes of your disposing. O God, from whom each thing is, from whom each thing that is, freely flows. Grant that no tie over strict, no tie over dear, may be between ourselves and this world. Amen. We're going to read um, a section of Psalm 103 and before we do these responses, O oh God, as these words are read, in our hearts may we feel your presence. It's a psalm of thanksgiving for God's goodness. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits, who forgives all your infirmity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live, so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, O you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And let's just keep a moment of quiet as we listen to the bird song. Maybe you can feel the sunshine like we can. And offer our thanksgiving being still before God.
We believe, O oh God of all gods, that you are the eternal God of life. We believe, O oh God of all gods, that you are the eternal God of love. We believe, O oh God and maker of all creation, that you are the creator of the high heavens, that you are the creator of the deep seas, that you are the creator of the stable earth. We believe, O God of all the peoples, that you created our souls and set their walk, that you created our bodies and gave them breath, that you made us in your own image. We give you our worship with our whole lives. We give you our assent with our whole power. We give you our existence with our whole mind. We give you our kneeling with our whole desire. And so now we come to our prayers of concern where we lift up all those who are in need. O Christ, kindle in our hearts within a flame of love to our neighbour, to our foes, to our friends, to our kindred all. O Christ of the poor and the yearning, from the humblest thing that lives to the name that is highest of all, kindle in our hearts within a flame of love. So Father, we offer to you the cares of our community. For those who are anxious at this time, those who are anxious for loved ones, anxious to leave the house, anxious perhaps to go to work if work is now demanded of them, anxious for their children and the schooling. We pray that you would bless them with peace. with confidence, with wise decision making. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are ill, at home or in hospital, for those among our congregation, we pray for Derek, for Dot, for Janet and for their husbands and wives caring for them or waiting for them to return back home. We give thanks for the work of the chaplaincy team at Broomfield and pray for Sue as she visits people. And pray that you would bring healing and strength to all those who in their weakness turn to you. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for ourselves and our families. For the things that weigh upon us the things perhaps that we don't share with many people. We bring before you what we hope for, what we miss, what we are fearful for, and pray that you would meet us within these fears and emotions and assure us of your love and your future and purpose for us. Lord, renew us and help us to trust. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for Vivian 
who had a fall, broke her leg and has had it pinned for restorative rest and a speedy recovery. So we pray too for Helen who had a bad fall and has seven fractures within her wrist and shoulder for healing for her. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For all those managing this crisis, for our government, our local government, the scientists and hospital managers and all the myriad decisions and plans that are needing to be made. Gracious God, give skill, sympathy, resilience and wisdom. Strengthen them with your spirit that through their work many will be restored to health. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And this is a prayer for the Christian community. We are not a people of fear. We are a people of courage. We are not people who protect our own safety. We are people who protect our neighbour's safety. We are not people of greed. We are people of generosity. We are your people, God, giving and loving wherever we are, whatever it costs, for as long as it takes, wherever you call us. Lord, may that be so in us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We are placing our souls and our bodies under your guarding this night, O Christ. O Son of the tears, of the wounds of the piercings, may your cross this night be shielding us all. Be the great God between your shoulders to protect you in your going and your coming. Be the Son of Mary near your heart and be the perfect Spirit upon you pouring. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.